Hey guys, this is Oscar from the Mokopi team. And today, we're excited to show you how to get Mokopi data live into UEFN. Now, Epic already published a blog post detailing the steps for all of this, and you can find the link for that in the description. Uh, today, we're gonna go a little further and we're gonna bring in a metahuman and animate and record animations into the metahuman and use those animations in gameplay. So, let's begin. So first things first, let's launch the UEFN editor via the Epic Games launcher. All right, so we're here at the UEFN home. And so in the Epic's blog post, they recommend that you start with um, the feature example animation starter because that has some of the extra files that you need there uh, to get up and going faster. But today we're gonna go a little bit further and we're gonna actually bring a metahuman. So we're gonna start with a brand new project. I've created a brand new project here, called it Shark Mokopi. Um, feel free to pick any template or any island that you want. All right, so I got my brand new island over here, nothing in my project. And the first thing we wanna do is bring in the Mokobi Mannequin asset. And you can find the link for that in the description as well as in Epic's blog post. I've already downloaded it over here. So all I gotta do is drag that in. Actually, I'm gonna create a folder first. Keep things organized, Mokopi. Uh, open that folder and then bring the mannequin into that folder. Once you get this menu, just make sure that the skeleton says none, so it creates a skeleton for you. Import all. All right, so we got our assets here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, create an IK rig for this. So right click on the Mokobi mannequin skeletal mesh, hit create, and then IK rig. It creates the IK rig asset, double click on that to open it. Thanks to Epic's new auto retargeting features, we can just click Auto create retarget chains and auto create a K. There you go. Nice. Let's save that, close it. And now we can just drag our skeletal mesh into our project. One thing we need to add here is a performer component. So with that selected, go over here to the details panel, click add and search for performer. Click on that. And now uh, we're ready to stream data. So. Let's open up the Lifelink Hub. So Tools, Lifelink Hub. So this is a new app that Epic uh, published which allows us to get live data into UEFN. So within Lifelink Hub, click Add Source and select Mokopi Lifelink. Um, leave these settings as default unless you change uh, the port setting on your app. You just create that. And now if we go here to the app, I'm already calibrated, I've already set the IP. All I have to do is just hit the stream button, starts the transfer. If we go to Lifelink Hub, we'll see that we receive data and that green dot is all you need. All right, so let's minimize that. And now with uh, our Mokopi mannequin selected, we go and go select the performer in the details and in the subject name, just uh, select the only one that's there, Mokopi skeleton. And here I am animating live in Unreal, just like that. Now, I know you're not gonna use the Mokobi mannequin in your project, so let's bring in a metahuman and retarget to that. All right, so to bring in a metahuman, we want to open the metahuman importer. So go to window, uh, metahuman importer. You can either download a preset or one of your already created metahumans. I've already downloaded a manual over here, so all I gotta do is select them and click the add button over here. It's gonna take a little bit. It's gonna import the metahuman from the metahuman importer into your project. And now with the metahuman imported, you can see if you go back to your content folder, we have a metahumans folder. Double click on that, double click on your metahuman. And now we have a manual over here. So just drag that blueprint into your scene. Great. Uh, so now we need to create an IK for the metahuman and then a retargeter for Mokopi to retarget into the metahuman. So uh, with the metahuman selected, uh, select the body in the details panel and search for the skeletal mesh right here. So click on this uh, magnifying glass to take you to that asset. Now we are in the skeletal mesh, so same steps as before. Right click on that, uh, create IK rig. Double click the IK rig. Auto create retarget chains, auto create IK, save. Beautiful how that works. All right, now the final thing is to create the retargeter between those two. So go back to the Mokopi folder and select the 
Mokopi uh, Mannequin IK. So that's like the source you want to select the retarget from. So right click on that and select Create IK Retargeter. Now double click on that asset. And here we have to first select what is the target mesh for our retargeting. So in this case, it will be um, or the target IK. So in this case, it will be the IK that we just created for the mad human. So that's that. You'll see it looks a little weird at first. Um, just select this running retargeting because right now it's running, um, but we haven't configured it. So click on that. Uh, now we're on editing mode. And so, you can, you can do align all bones, and that will do a pretty good job. However, there is a, a little issue with the, the way that it aligns the spine. And you can test this on your end, but what I would suggest is, let's reset that all, and just basically align the limbs, right? So I'm going to select clavicle to hand, and then align selected, okay? Close that. Now the right hand, clavicle to right hand, and then align selected. And then close that, we go to the thighs, thigh to the ball of the feet, align selected, and close that, and then the right, right leg, align selected. Now, what we did here is that we basically kept the spine and the neck at the same, because both the, both the reference pose for the Mokopi mannequin as well as the metahuman is standing straight and looking forward, so we don't need to mess with that. Um, with that said, let's save that and close it. And so now to retarget to the metahuman, all we need to do is select the metahuman, go back to the details panel, and add a retarget component. With the retarget component, we wanna select what is the source skeletal mesh for that retarget. In our case, it would be the Mokopi mannequin. I don't see why I have two here, but Mokopi mannequin. And then on the retarget asset, click on the one that we just created. Oh not working so maybe it was this one there we go so uh, just make sure that your source skeletal mesh is the actual source that you're animating there you go so now I'm animating both characters and I'm ready to make recording animations and whatnot first open up the take recorder so go here uh, to the UEFN go to Windows cinematics take recorder All right that's how we're gonna create our recordings now with this selected uh, sorry not selected with this open Go to the lifelink hub and on the right hand side here, make sure you enable timecode source. So we're gonna click on that. Now we're kind of linked to the take recorder. So if I switch my FPS over here to 30, the take recorder is gonna switch to 30. And so it's, it's all synced right now. Um, for better Mokopi recordings, you wanna select the Mokopi skeleton. That's a little advanced. If you wanna know how to record the lifelink source itself, go and refer to our other video uh, the other video tutorial about how to record Mokopi data inside of uh, Unreal. So uh, we're gonna select 30 FPS for now, and we're gonna minimize that and come over here. And then with the take recorder, we're just gonna add uh, Emmanuel as our source. You can select Emmanuel and then click add source and just add Emmanuel there. And then all we have to do is hit the recording button, do your motion. Hey, I'm an NPC. I don't know what to do. Kind of improvising over here. Hey, what's that? Come over here. All right, all right, that's, that's enough. <laughs> we'll cut it there. Hit stop, and now to review your recording, you can click this uh, review the last recording button on the top left. It loads up the recording here on the sequencer. You can hit play, and there's our recording. That's it, that's easy. Now, we're gonna take it a step further, and we're gonna add some functionality to that to make sure that we can trigger that recording in game. So let's close this, go back here. Close this, we don't need this. Our, our recording actually got saved into our cinematics folder, so you can refer to that later. So two things we need to play this recording in game. We need, uh, we need two devices. We need a sequence, so just search for sequence here. Uh, actually, select the Fortnite folder <laughs> so you don't get a bunch of results. Then search for sequence and add a cinematic sequence device. So this device plays sequences that you record and you can create really complicated sequences with a bunch of motion and just play them all from this device. So with that device selected, 
here under sequence, we're just gonna select the sequence that we recorded. Now, a heads up, if I select the actual sequence that I recorded, I get some errors. So I wanna select the actual actor subsequence that I recorded. So I'm gonna select Emmanuel scene one level sequence, all right? So that's the sequence I wanna play. Now, how do I wanna play it? Let's add a trigger over here. So search for trigger, again, with the Fortnite folder selected. And let's add a basic trigger here. Yep, that's a little too big, so let's make it something like that. All right, so we need, we need to trigger our sequence via this trigger. So select your sequence, or the sequence device, and scroll down here on the details panel until you find a play function. Hit a plus sign on that, and now hit this little icon over here to pick actor from scene and then just click on the trigger that you added. Now you can see it, it mapped that and then drop this down and say untriggered. So when the user triggers that trigger, then it will play the sequence. And of course you have other options here like loop the playback, autoplay, play rate, etc. Uh, but that's really all we need. So with this in place, let's launch the game and see what happens. Save and now we wait and go for a coffee. Be right back. <laughs> All right, so I'm here in my island. Let's see, where is my stuff? Oh, there we go. Oh, I didn't know I had another Mokobi skeleton there. Cool. All right, well, I'll have to delete those, obviously. But um, let's see. So I'm walking around. If I hit the trigger, oh, there's my animation. So I feel like I want to make a, a dance club and have have a, a dance animation of a crowd while I trigger this. It's gonna be my next project, I think. <laughs> uh, but no, so like that that's how easy we can create animations with Mokopi and actually implement them into gameplay. And you know, from there on, your imagination's the limit. Um, I know Epic published uh, the comedy stand-up template, which I thought it was pretty fun. So that might be something worth checking out and adding your own crowd or your own animations to the presentation there. All right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We can't wait to see what you guys can come up with. Check out the links in the description for extra information. And thanks for watching. See you on the next one.